One of the fundamental role of HLA molecules is to provide identity of self to cells of adaptive immune response. This is achieved during development of T cells. During their development, T cells are presented with self HLA molecules in combination with self peptides. Only those T cells will have further development that can recognize self HLA molecules in combination with self peptides. During further development, T cells are presented with these molecules on antigen presenting cells. And if T cells become reactive to these molecules, they will be removed from system by apoptosis. So only those T cells that recognize self HLA and self peptides but do not become reactive to these molecules will be selected for further immune functions. Whenever these cells will come across self HLA and self peptides in future, they will recognize it as self and will not take any further actions. However, whenever these cells will come across unfamiliar peptides, they will potentially initiate an immune response. These cells can recognize peptide antigens only when presented on HLA molecules. To initiate an immune response, in first step, antigen presenting cells ingest pathogens by phagocytosis. Resulting peptides from breakdown of proteins derived from these pathogens are then combined with HLA class 2 molecules in endosome. Resulting complex of HLA class 2 molecules and peptides is then transferred on cell surface. Naive CD4 or helper T cells recognize peptides presented on HLA class 2 molecules. These cells initiate and organize immune response. Immune response can be mainly antibody response if antigen was derived from extracellular organisms. Or it can be mainly activation of cytotoxic cells including cytotoxic T cells that result in lysis of cells presenting peptides derived from pathogens or transformed cells. So function of HLA class 2 molecules is to present antigens processed by antigen presenting cells to CD4 T cells. In addition to dendritic cells that are main antigen presenting cells and macrophages, B cells can also present antigens. These cells have B cell receptors on surface. These receptors are IgM and IgD molecules. Antigens attached to these receptors are first ingested by B cells and then processed in cell. The processed antigens are then combined with HLA class 2 molecules and presented on cell surface. B cells then interact with CD4 T cells. Resulting interaction result in proliferation of B cells, class switching of immunoglobulin molecules and formation of plasma cells and memory B cells. We have seen HLA class 2 molecules present peptides derived from proteins from extracellular source. In contrast, HLA class 1 molecules present peptides derived from proteins present in cytoplasm. These proteins can be derived from viruses, other intracellular pathogens, transform cells or other proteins present in cell. These proteins are also first broken down to smaller peptides. These peptides then combine with HLA class 1 molecules and then presented on surface of cell. On surface of cell, HLA class 1 molecules are recognized by CD8 T cells. These are effector cells and will result in lysis of cell presenting abnormal proteins. Resulting lysis of cell will help in eradication of infection or prevent progression of a tumor. If a person's immune system comes across non-self HLA molecules, it can potentially activate immune system. This can happen due to transfusion of blood products, previous pregnancies or organ transplants. 
After an organ transplant, non-self HLA molecules can result in immune response that can be antibody mediated or cytotoxic in nature. This immune response can result in acute or chronic rejection of transplanted organ. Similarly, a person can have preformed anti-HLA antibodies due to previous exposure to non-self HLA molecules that can result in acute rejection of transplanted organ. So HLA molecules have a fundamental role in immune response after organ transplant as well.